To get started, go to notebooklm.google.com. Notebooklm just got a bunch of new updates from Google, so let's have a quick look through them, including the new video overview. I've got a notebook here that's all about a work project. And the first thing you'll notice is the new studio look and feel on the right hand side here. So we've got these nice new tiles to create audio overviews, video overviews, mind maps, and reports. So if you want to create a mind map, for example, you just click and it gets created. Or if you want to create a report like a briefing doc, I just mouse over and choose briefing doc. What's new here is that you can create multiple of these and now you can also create multiple audio overviews. So in a work context, I might hover over here, click the three dots and choose customize and ask the audio overview to be focused on a particular team. So in the notes here, I might say something like, only focus on anything related to marketing. I want this to be a shorter one, I click generate. And before I was only stuck with my one audio overview. But if I want another one for a different team, just click those three dots again, choose customize and put my notes in here. Only focus on anything relating to the website. Again, I want it to be shorter and then click generate. As always, these audio overviews will take a little while, but once they're ready, they're gonna appear in this side panel here. And like I showed in the original walkthrough video, the link's in the description, you can also still join the inter interactive mode by clicking the hand button here. But now while you're playing an audio overview, you can also then carry on doing other things. So I could be asking questions in the chat. I could be looking at a mind map, for example. I can be reading my briefing document. Before, if you navigated to something else, you were stuck, you wouldn't also be able to listen to the audio overview. And obviously if you wanna stop, you can pause using the media controls down here or just click the X. Then finally, the big one, video overviews. If you thought audio overviews were good, this just takes it to another level. It takes audio Audio, but also gives some kind of visual to it as well, almost like a presentation. So let's click to create a video overview and show you what it looks like. It's a little while later and we can see that the video overview is done. So I'm gonna click the play button over here. All right, for this explainer, we're doing something a little different. I'm gonna skip through the video so we can have a better look at the actual contents for a bit. These aren't just consumers in the traditional sense. These are people who actively look for brands that line up with their own values. They lead with deep sustainability. That's to build trust to prove they're legit. I think this is pretty amazing. Now you might be thinking, because this is internal for a work project, it feels like maybe that video has been made for an external audience getting a peek into how the campaign has come about. So if you wanted to make it more specific to an internal team in the company, for example, that's where back in the studio on video overview, I can click those three dots and choose customize. And I can customize this in exactly the same way I did for audio overview earlier by sharing a bit about who the audience is or what I want the tone to be like. And right now I can download that video by clicking the download icon on the top right here. But wouldn't it be cool if I could export that to Google Vids and edit it myself to make changes? I really hope we see that come in a future update. By the way, if you've not explored Google Vids, I've got a few videos about it and I'll link them in the description. If this video was helpful, subscribe down below for more AI tips, tricks, and walkthroughs. 